Why did his hard work and struggle go to his head? When I start talking about Trump, I get too flustered in my head. That sounds like a personal problem to me. Sounds like somebody that has a problem can't get this person out of their head. That's not his problem. You've taken the poison and expect him to die. And the shit that I want to say, there's, there's too many things I want to say at once. At once. Yeah, in other words, I really don't know anything to really say. There's so much that I have to say at once, I just can't say anything. Which basically means I've got nothing to say. He just makes me frustrated. And he's probably just being paid to say this shit. So sometimes I start talking and I, and I don't, I'm not able to convey the message the right way. Yeah, because there is no message. I'm not able to convey the message the right way. How is, how is fuck Trump? How can that be any clearer? Okay, I mean, that's all you really need to say. That's all you really need to say. And I don't see how that can't be any clearer. But yeah, he's going to give you a nice word salad sandwich here about how much he hates Trump and why he's right. Because he cares about you. Way because I just get flustered and frustrated watching him play to his base that thinks that he cares about them. All right, how do you know what people think? How do you know what all these people think? Another, another one that, that, that this is what pisses me off about these people. They think and speak for everyone else. If you really wanted to know what these people think, you talk to them. You wouldn't condemn them. You wouldn't be all up in their grill telling everybody, oh, you need to hate this man because I hate him. In fact, I would venture that a majority of these people base who they like and don't like on their own personal uh, experiences with that person. I know I don't listen to someone else when they say, oh, you got to hate that person over there because I do. And this is what happened with them, blah, 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 blah. They usually won't tell you the entire story. And... I found that you miss out on a lot of actual good friends. I've actually become better friends with the people that someone has complained about than I was with the person that complained about them, if that makes sense to you. But it's because of the fact that I don't let anybody else think for me. I don't let anybody else choose my friends. I don't let anybody else choose what I want to do and who I want to talk to. This guy seems to have, seems to think he has that power over people. And it's actually the people that he cares about the fucking least. If you're talking about his- Again, you don't know this. Why are you speaking for everyone, Eminem? You really think you're, you're that special? His core being, you know, a majority white middle class. What I don't understand is how- Again, you don't know that either. This is someone that has no facts, no figures, no nothing. He's just screaming and yelling about how much you should hate Trump because he does. How in the fuck do you feel like you relate to a billionaire who has never known struggle his entire fucking life? Again, something else you have no idea. You don't know that. Okay, yeah, he had money. I was gonna say, you have money now too. Don't you have some kind of struggles? Everybody has problems. I don't care how much money you have. Everybody has some kind of problem. And he's still a human being. I will say this, he talks a good one. And if you're in his base, you're a core, let's say you're going to the rallies or whatever, you watch him on TV, you hear him talking this shit. There's part- I got a question about this too, now that I'm watching this again. Why doesn't he show his eyes? Why is he in the shadows? Why is he talking from a dark space? I was like, I grew up with Eminem, and I I understand his struggle. We saw Eight Mile. We saw what they did to him. He, you saw how he had to break into the music business. You saw how he, how, how hard he actually ended up having to work. The shit that he ended up having to take, uh, take uh, 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 you know, to even be accepted in that world. Which actually, to be honest with me, to be be honest with you looked pretty racist to me. He was the only white guy and a bunch of all black dudes that weren't accepting him. Hmm. So, and then he, after he gets famous and everything like that, he gets in all with them and everything, he has the nerve to talk and speak for everybody else whether or not they've had their struggles or not. 
just because you've struggled in your life and you've gotten where you've gotten with your all your struggles doesn't give you the right to tell anybody else they haven't struggled just as much or how much they struggled. You have, <laughs> you're not any kind of deity or anything here. Part of me that understands like, all right, he's somehow still got them because he's brainwashing them into thinking that something great is going to happen. You can't brainwash people into that. And he's not brainwashing them. He's actually telling those people that they are great. They are capable. They can bring this country back like we had it before. We used to be industrious. We used to have beautiful cities. Now everybody's killing each other and talking like this to one another. You know, everybody hates each other. There's nobody working together anymore. They can't find cops to work for anybody anymore. You really think it's because of the fact that <laughs> you're telling everybody to hate this guy? Nothing's happening. Nothing is happening. Yeah, because your side won't let it. In fact, anybody that tries to do anything or become successful, this is another example. I know you guys have heard me say this a million times, but this is just another example to me of someone that got theirs and don't want anyone else to get theirs. They, they're not, they, they won't try to lead anybody else to, into it. They haven't helped anybody else try to get into it, even after all the struggle and everything that they've gone through. Now that they, they, they're in there and they're, they're tight and everything like that, and they've got all the money and they've got all the fame and all this other stuff, they tell everybody else, oh, no, you couldn't do this. You can't do this. You shouldn't be doing this. Uh, to hell with your success. I got mine, but you guys aren't allowed to get yours. You're, you're a bigot or you're this or you're that if you try to do the same thing as me. Or if you've done better than me. Actually, another thing that this sounds like is that because of the fact that Trump is so much more famous and so much richer than he is and that he didn't have to go through a lot of this stuff, he sounds jealous to me. This sounds like a jealous rant right here. How come Trump has more followers than me? How come I couldn't get these people revved up? How come I can't relate to these people? How is it that you feel like you're relating to this billionaire when you can't relate to me as whatever I am, a million, I'm, he's got to be a millionaire at least by now or something. But yeah, he sounds jealous. He sounds really jealous and he's got where he's gotten and he doesn't want anybody else to get where they got. So I just stopped listening to him. This is like I say, you get big enough, you, you, you know, everybody loves your singing and everybody loves your shows and everything like that. And then you think that you're big enough to start telling people how to live. Start telling people who to like. And I'm sure that your production company and all these people that are behind your entertainment system are telling you this, are paying you to do this, or have brainwashed you into thinking that you're good enough or that you're better than everyone else. So you want to hear me say the F word again? Hey, Eminem, fuck you! Problems and all of that other stuff and everything like that, but he fought against it. He went against it. He got against all odds. Eminem is what they consider an American dream, and we got to watch him do it. But that doesn't give you the right to try and talk everyone else out of theirs or to tell anyone else who they should like or not like. I'm sorry, but no. You don't get to talk for anyone else, and you don't get to... uh. uh you don't get to shake your finger at everyone else either. And he's like, oh, well, I get it, but... Okay, again, that's what made it sound like a jealous rant at that point. He's like, he sees both sides of it, but the one side is just not good and every... Uh, no, no, you don't get to judge that. You don't get to judge that, and you don't... And you're basing this on stuff that you're uh, deducting. Oh, people think this, and he thinks that, and I know he doesn't have any struggle. No, you don't know any of this stuff. Any of it. Not one single bit. Not to mention the fact that all of those rappers that he had to fight with and go against and everything like that, that wanted to kick him out, mainly because he wasn't black, they loved him before he became president, and then they were told by their com companies to hate him. Okay, so, yeah, no, you don't hold any high ground here and um why don't you put your money where your mouth is also too this is another thing if you're so much better than trump and you think that that he's the worst in the world why ain't you running for nothing how about that eminem you get up there and run for some shit 
you get up there and, and, and take this crap that he's taking. Because that's what's going to happen if you go into politics. But I guarantee you, you're not strong enough to do the right thing. Do you think that Joe Biden should run for re-election in 2024? No. Hell no. Absolutely not. Uh, no. Nah. Man, where the stimulus checks at? Nah, no, man. Oh, this f he don't need to run for that shit no more. He ain't doing shit different. He ain't, he ain't made no difference. Joe Biden doing nothing. Right? Hey, no. 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 Uh, uh, Trump, you know what's going when my great grandparents was a certain age, they're supposed to retire. Biden at a retiree age. He need to go ahead and retire. He don't need to run. Biden like you about to fall over sometimes, so you need to go ahead and chill with your wife and you know, drink some good cognac, maybe smoke a little. You know what I'm talking about? You don't got one term, you know. If Joe Biden was here right now, what would you tell him? Suck my I'm gonna be real with you, he's trash. Cause he's not doing it for us. That's it. He's all done. He's slow, he has dementia, he can barely speak. Not to mention he, he works for the New World Order and the globalists. Absolutely disgusting. You gotta do better. Biden has to do better. Yeah, yeah, you gotta do better because uh got that the dude that locked up now? Yeah, Uncle T. Donald Donald helped out. Donald helped out. Yeah, Donald gave us money when we were struggling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gave me like twenty eight hundred. Really? So I ain't do shit. So I say, hey man, free Donald Trump all day, every day. Free Donald Trump. Why? You had everything right, yo. He See, a businessman. He a businessman. When man. you got a businessman in office, you good to go, you feel me? Right. Donald Trump, when he seen us, when we when we needed money, when we needed this, when we needed that. He showed us love. He though. showed us love. He showed us and love, he didn't man. stop. Trump or Biden? Trump. Trump? Why? I don't know. He just looked out for the people more. Trump's the average American. Yeah. Trump was doing a lot, a lot, a lot more than he doing. Trump, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't no Republican, but you all right with me? Trump, my motherfucking dog. He's a realist, like, he's an asshole. He tell you he's an asshole. You feel what I'm saying? He was, he was disrupting, like, the corruption, everything going on. Yeah, he's a, a, a billionaire tycoon, you know what I mean? So he ain't really finna give a damn about politics. He never says his mouth. Yeah, he says what he wants, you know? Yeah, yeah. Trump moved like a little gangster, baby. You guys, you guys would say Trump 2024. Yeah. 2024 Trump. Trump. Trump 2024. We from Baltimore. We from Baltimore. I like Trump. Trump or Biden. I'm saying Kanye. Kanye? Yeah. Why? Yeah, because he's that boy. <laughs> and of course, those are the folks that Eminem is not listening to or trying to speak for. And of course, did any of those look like middle-aged white men? I didn't see any middle-aged white men there, did you? <laughs> Eminem needs to get a clue, man.